Nothing to do now but sit back, relax, and mentally help the B-52 pilot with his flying. Wing mounting of the X-15 permits the ejection seat to be utilized in an emergency, while the aircraft is still attached to the B-52 shackles. The launch checks continue as the pilot tests the attitude control rocket. The high altitude control system used when the X-15 is on an altitude flight profile above the usable atmosphere. At extremely high altitudes, the conventional aerodynamic control services are not sufficiently responsive for complete flight control. So attitude control rockets are necessary. Pitch and yaw rockets are located in the nose. The roll rockets are located on each wingtip. The underside of the X-15 is now building up a coating of frost on the outside of the liquid oxygen tank due to the intense cold of the liquid oxygen at a temperature of minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The auxiliary power units are now started. Note the exhaust trail going over the horizontal stabilizer. Launch. Light roll-off occurs in the shackle release. The X-15 engine is started and the aircraft accelerates rapidly, quickly leaving the B-52 far behind. On this flight, the plan called for a buildup of 1,500 pounds per square foot of dynamic pressure before pull-up. Again the launch, photographed by X-15 camera number one. Note the rapid acceleration as the aircraft drops away from the B-52 and the steep climb-out angle. Speed brakes are extended to permit longer burning time of the engine propellants and provide added aircraft stability during re-entry. Peak altitude of 317,000 feet planned for this flight is now achieved. X-15 camera number five shows the pilot's reaction to zero-G state. Camera number six shows the control panel and the weightless condition. Note the pages on the pilot's flight checklist. The planned peak altitude accomplished. The aircraft starts on the downhill side of the parabola. As the descent angle increases, the horizon gradually disappears out of the picture. Now the pullout to level flight, and the horizon once again is seen behind the tail of the aircraft. The pilot banks the X-15 to visually judge for himself the landing site relative to his position. The speed brakes close and the pilot guides the aircraft into an approach pattern for a landing on Rogers Dry Lake. 